Hello everyone and welcome to the Spare Parts channel anniversary. Oh my goodness. So it turns out I created my YouTube channel on the 4th of July. Quite a coincidence. So as a celebration, I decided to do a Q&A session. I created a community post about a week ago and asked people to put their questions down below and I got a lot of really good ones. So let's get into them. First question comes from Cowboy Bricks. What inspired you to create a YouTube channel? And it's kind of a long story. So originally I wasn't actually planning on making a YouTube channel. I just wanted to get a YouTube account. This was because at the time, I guess July 4th last year, I was really into Pokemon cards and all these Pokemon card YouTubers do all these giveaways and stuff and you have to be subscribed and comment and you can't do that without a YouTube account. So back then I really thought that I could win one of those giveaways if I created a YouTube account and I don't think I've ever even entered one of the giveaways because right when I created it, I decided I should just make a YouTube channel and then I got into Legos again. It's weird, my interests kind of go in streaks. I'll go from Legos to Pokemon cards to Legos. It kind of just goes back and forth, but I've been into Legos for like a solid year now because of the YouTube channel. The next question comes from H. What's your favorite video you've made? And I actually have three favorite videos. Two of them are when I kind of dived into like video essay style videos. That's like the Brown Bricks video and the Lego will never make a $1,000 set video. Those videos took a very long time to edit. And my third favorite video is the Most Isley Cantina mock video. That mock is just really good in my opinion. Probably the best one I've ever made. And if you haven't seen it, I'll put a card up there. And I guess there's a fourth favorite video. That would be my first video, the Anakin's Jedi Interceptor review. If you haven't checked that out, I wouldn't check it out. It's not a very good video, but it's there. But it was my first video on the channel, so it is kind of special to me. A very interesting question up next. Joel's Bricks asked, what's your favorite spare part from a Lego set? And it actually, my favorite spare part from a Lego set is right over there right now. I'll go grab it. So this James Bond Aston Martin car, it's a pretty good set. And it comes with this uh, muffler thing on the bottom here. As you can see, there's like a weapon piece right there. And the set actually included an extra and it can kind of double as a weapon for James Bond. I think that's super cool because LEGO would not really include a weapon in the set, but you could actually use it as a weapon. Another of my favorite spare parts is definitely when you get like an extra lightsaber hilt in a set, because these can be pretty useful. Never seen an extra blade, but you definitely see these pretty often. Alex Bottomer asked, what was your first ever LEGO set? I don't really remember, but I think my first ever LEGO set was like this farm box thing. I don't remember what it was called, but there will be a picture on screen. There's also this mechanics set and like a it was an Octan tanker truck as well. Those are three sets I remember having really young. My first ever LEGO Star Wars set was, I think, Anakin's Jedi Interceptor, and I like that set so much. KPCoffs911 asked, what LEGO Star Wars set would you like to see be made in 2025? And I would say I would definitely want to see a 212th battle pack. We haven't gotten one of those since, I think, 2014, and it is definitely long overdue. I'd also like to see a remake of the Ewok Village. That would be sick. I'd also really like to see another Luke's Landspeeder. We haven't gotten a Luke's Landspeeder in, like, two years, and I definitely think we need another one. Bio First Studs asked, what is the coolest set in your collection? And I actually brought it out for this video. I don't know if many people know I have the set because I've never really shown it, but it's right back there. So this is the castle. Oh my gosh, I gotta take this off. Oh, that's so uncomfortable. Very controversial take here. I think this is the best Millennium Falcon Lego has ever made. It's just, it's all down to the color scheme and this part being filled in. I just think it looks a lot better. I'm sure other Millennium Falcons have better play features, but I just think this looks the best on display. Something about the blue and white. I just really like it. This is also the most expensive set I have in my collection. And I think I got this in fourth grade. So it's been in my collection for a while and it's pretty cool. Alex Bottomer also asked, are you homeschooled? I actually am not homeschooled. I go to public school. I actually think it'd be really nice to be homeschooled because then I could just work on this a lot more often and not have to go to school all the time, but I do go to public school. Joel's Bricks asked, if 10 monkeys and two cows got in a fight, who would win? Um, I think the cows because cows are heavier, so they could just like not fight and eventually the monkeys would get tired and then they'd leave. So that would be an automatic victory for the cows, you know? I don't know. M. King L asked, what equipment do you use? Well, here, I'll take the camera for this one. Prop this up somewhere, probably over by that wall. That'll work, all right. So the main thing I use for propping up the camera in my videos is this tripod right here. Got it for my birthday, it's pretty nice. Bendy legs, top can spin. I like it a lot. I also use a light for my videos. I'll bring that down. As you can see, the lighting is pretty bad without it, but this is what the light looks like. And that's like all the equipment I use. When I'm recording a voiceover, I just speak really close into the mic. And the final question from Crimson Toaster, on a scale of 27 alligators to 46 elephants, how would you rate your first year on YouTube? 
I would give it 83 and a half alligators out of 27 elephants. Yeah, it's been pretty good. So there you have it, guys. That was the Lego one year anniversary spare parts channel Q&A. If you enjoyed the video, feel free to like, subscribe, and comment down below if I should make this a series or something. And one last thing before the video is over. If you were wondering why in the beginning of the video there was no orange balloon, because you know orange is like the main color of the channel, well...